in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own cloud for your agency using an open source platform called Nextcloud. Now in this, we are going to have a server with Ubuntu 20.04 and we're using one of our cloud providers. I'm going to do separate videos on the cloud providers of our choice for certain projects. So this assumes you've already selected the server you want to use and you've got Ubuntu 20.04 set up and ready. Also note that there is a link in the description of this video straight to an article where you can copy and paste all of the commands that I cover in this video. Obviously you need to replace certain elements with your username and your password and the relevant domain. So without further ado, let's make our own cloud. This episode is sponsored by Cloudways, the managed cloud hosting platform we trust with all of our projects. You can find out more on agencytrailblazer.com forward slash cloudways. All right, let's get stuck in. Now, I'm using Windows today and I'm using the PowerShell so I can essentially use this as a terminal. Now we're going to root in via SSH and I'm using the temporary domain of nextcloud.demo.agencytrailblazer.com and I've already been in to Namecheap and I've set up the IP address to point to my Ubuntu 20.04 server and I will be doing other videos to give you a, a bit of an understanding of how to set those up on different providers. But let's get stuck in and I'll enter the password and we're presented with the command line. Now to prepare our server, we want to make sure we are running Running all of the latest updates. So I'm going to have here apt get update. That's done. And you can see it's read the package list. What we now want to do is change this update to upgrade. And it will check and see how much of this we need to upgrade. We can see that there are not very many updates available. Thankfully, there's four. It's going to add a whole 15.4 kilobytes. Am I sure? Yes. All right, we've installed all of those upgrades to our platform. Now that we're running an up-to-date server, I want to add a sudo user. So I'm going to go ahead and create add user Lee. This has created a new user and I can give him a password. All righty. Next, it's going to ask for some information. So in this case, I'm just going to go through, say, is that correct? Yes. All right, next, we want to add this user as a pseudo user. This means that when we log in as Lee in a second, we'll be able to do things in the server. So let's go ahead, user mod, and I believe it's minus a capital G pseudo. Let me check. Yep, pseudo, and then Lee. That means Lee is now a pseudo user, so I'll be able to configure things on the server as long as I use the sudo command before any commands I make when I'm logged in as Lee. Before we do that, we'll want to configure the firewall. So let me go ahead to my crib sheet, and I'm just going to copy in this command. This is ufw allow open SSH. So once the firewall's active, we'll still be able to SSH in. And then we're going to use UFW enable. That means we've enabled the firewall. Press yes. And we're ready to rock and roll. Now then, we will exit and we're going to log in now as um, Lee. So let's press this, which is the up arrow. And we're going to change this to Lee. And we'll type in the password that we set. And we are now in. So we can now see that we are in as Lee at Next Cloud Demo, and we're ready to get everything configured. So the first thing we'll want to do, I'm going to copy and paste from the crib sheet here, is install Snap. We're using Snap in this install because it's the quickest, most effective way of getting Next Cloud set up and configured in the right way on an Ubuntu 20.04 server, and it will allow you to update it regularly. So let's do that. Let's tap in my password. I say yes, and by the magic of film, it is now done. We are going to paste in our next command. Whoops, that would be better. sudo snap install nextcloud. Let's rock and roll, and let's watch it happen. 
again through the magic of film it is now fully installed that took around 60 seconds to go through that whole process now what we want to do with nextcloud is add an admin user so we're going to use this command for that sudo nextcloud.manual hyphen install lee is the username and that incredible password that we have there is the password that we will use on this install so we'll press enter and this does in many circumstances take about 30 seconds once that's done, we now want to add the domain of nextcloud.demo.agencytrailblazer.com as the trusted domain that Nextcloud will use and allow us to connect to. So we're going to paste in this command here, excuse me, sudo nextcloud.occ, and then it's config colon system colon set, and we're setting a trusted domain. We've got one here, and we just need to change that example.com to our trusted domain. And it says here, your trusted domain has been set to nextcloud.demo.agencytrailblazer.com. To check that was successful, we're going to use this command, sudo nextcloud.occ, and then it's config system get, instead of set, trusted domains. And this should give us the two domains of localhost and the other domain that you have selected as your primary domain with no other text around it. So we know this has worked. Now we want to open up the ports to allow for SSL and for people to be able to access this via the web. So we're gonna do that with our next command. sudo ufw allow port 80 and 443 slash tcp. And that's added both of those rules. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and set up the SSL uh, with the uh, Let's Encrypt function. And with the beauty of this snap install, it's already brought everything that we need for it. So we can just paste this command, which is nextcloud.enable hyphen HTTPS space Let's hyphen encrypt. And we will just follow through the uh, the prompts as it gives them. So have we met the requirements? Yes. Then we want to enter an email address. This is important because we will be notified when this uh, may expire. So I believe Let's Encrypt certificates expire e every, um, I think it's every year. So we need to keep our eye on that. Now we want to enter that domain name and be very careful to get it right. And when you're ready, hit enter. This is going to attempt to obtain the certificates for this domain. So this is the trusted domain that we have associated with Nextcloud. So in theory, we will be able to go to that domain with HTTPS at the beginning and access our Nextcloud installation with that username and password that I set earlier. Paste that in. Boom we have our next cloud installation ready to rock and roll. We can type in our username of Lee, and then let's go ahead and paste in that password. We're logged in, we're gonna get a video here, Nextcloud Hub, that only appears once. We've got a few widgets that we can add and customize. We can go then straight to files and have a play around. You can see here that we've only used 15 meg because it loads a few things in for itself. There's a few other settings that you'll want to go ahead and change. I'd encourage you to go straight into settings here and then go down to basic settings and set up your SMTP. You could use your Gmail SMTP or something like send in blue mail gun. This will allow you to send messages to the team with regards to their passwords as well as reset passwords, etc. The final couple of things you'll want to do is first of all set up all of your users in here and then go into apps where you may wish to add some extra apps such as the talk app which allows you to do video calls and text chat and there are also tools such as only office allowing you to collaborate on documentation and much more but that is not for this video this is quite simply how to get started using Ubuntu 20.04 and a simple snap install via the command line. Have fun exploring. That wraps up this episode. Thank you again to Cloudways for sponsoring this episode. You can find more information over on agencytrailblazer.com forward slash Cloudways. We do have a Facebook group. You can join us over there over on agencytrailblazer.com forward slash group. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up 
Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. And I would also love to hear from you what your thoughts were and what your failures or successes were by following these instructions in the comments below. Have a wonderful day. If we don't see you in the Facebook group or in the comments below, then hey, let's see you in next week's episode. Ta-da!